Hello and welcome to another edition of Easy Money with Don Anders. I'm your host, Donovan Stahl. This edition of our podcast, we're going to be discussing the five needs of money, and you guys are in for a real treat today. For those of you who don't know the five needs, they include income, liquidity, death benefit, safety, and growth. So please sit back, enjoy our episode this week, and let Don take it from here. So you may have heard me talk about the five needs before, and I really do think it's one of the most important things to understand when it comes to finance. A lot of times people want to take finance and just break it down to the numbers or or break it down to the figures or the investments, but I think it's more important to realize what you do and do not need. And it's imperative to sit down, especially at retirement time, and explore those needs. So let's real quick go over them again. The first of the five needs is income, and that's the most important. The reason it's most important is all the rest of them do not matter if you cannot pay for your bills, if you cannot pay for your your lifestyle, all the rest are out the window because your money will be gone. Retirement and life in general is not about how much money is coming in. It's really about how much money is going out, right? If you have, let's say, a million dollars coming in, but you have $1.1 million going out, we have an issue. So before you look at anything else, you have to make sure that your income is covered. Now, once the income is covered, then you can look at, okay, what do you want with any additional funds, right? So once your lifetime income is covered to meet your your living expenses, your lifestyle, then we have to look at what else you want to do. And that's really when the five needs comes into play. So we know that the first need is income. And maybe after you've met all of your income needs, you still want more income. And there's nothing wrong with that. So if income is the top need, you would rank that. But the second need is stability or safety. And the reason that's so important is you need to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Riskier investments usually mean higher rewards, but it also means more fluctuation. One of the most popular things that people like to say is you can only get hurt on a roller coaster if you get off in the middle, which is true. But I like to respond to that with what if you never wanted to get on that ride in the first place? So that's safety and stability. The next need is death benefit. And while people don't like to think about something bad happening, it's really important for some people. I had a gentleman who came to one of our live events a few months back, and his number one concern was death benefit. He said, that's number one. Everything else is five to me. I do not care about income. I don't care about stability. I don't care about liquidity. All I care about is death benefit. And the reason is is because he had a disabled child. So as long as he was alive, his pension and his social security would go towards the disabled child. But if something happened to him, he needed that money to not only be there for his child, but also to be in the right types of investments and trust that would help support that child for the rest of his life. Now, this is why the five needs is so important because every single person is different. That story does not relate to 99% of people, but the 1% of people that it does, it's imperative that they look at investments and after death planning for their beneficiaries well-being because they're not going to be there. The people who have kids that are, are doing well, maybe doing better than them, Well, that's not as big of a concern to them. Also, if you're in the stage of life where you have young children, you have dependents, then life insurance is huge, not only because it's pretty cheap for most healthy people, but on top of that, it's tax-free, one of the few tax-free things in the world. I know we like to talk a lot about retirees. That's our main clientele. But remember, these can apply to you no matter what stage of life you're in. 
And that really leads me into the next stage, which is growth. And I think a lot of advisors focus a little too heavily on growth because it is very important for most of your life. For 80% of your investing life, from the time that you're in your 20s till the time that you retire or about to retire, your number one concern should be growing your money because you have time. And time is your friend when you're trying to grow your money. Because as we know, the market can be volatile, but historically, stocks outperform almost any investment. So if you are, say, 25 years old, and you're going to have income for the next 40 years, and you have money that you're putting aside and you're saving for retirement, your number one goal should be to grow that money as much as you can. Because the compounding effect of interest and the compounding effect of returns on your money through stocks and other equities can be absolutely huge for you. It could be the difference between being able to retire at 60 or 65 and having to work into your 75. But also, if you're retiring right now, you still might want to look at growth. You know, a lot of people are so worried about losing what they have that they just want to take their money and essentially stuff it under their mattress or put it in their bank account. Well, right now, if you put your money into your bank account, interest is little to none. I mean, interest are, are at rock bottom low rates, but inflation is going to continue to go up. Inflation is necessary for a healthy economy. So make sure that you're an investment that if you want to be safe, be safe, but also gives you the ability to keep up with inflation. Because if you're retiring right now at 60 years old, there's a decent chance that you're going to be retired for 30 to 40 years. With the way health healthcare is going, who knows, you might be retired for more than that. So think back, those of you who are retiring now, think back. 40 years ago. And think about how much you made that year. Now, think about how much you paid in taxes this year. Were they pretty close? Did you pay more in taxes this year than you made the first year? That's inflation. Think back about how much a car cost 40 years ago, how much it costs now. And you can't just close your eyes and hope that inflation goes away because it's not going to because a healthy economy needs it. You want inflation because if we don't have any inflation at all, then that means we're stagnant. That means we're in an unhealthy economy and nobody's doing well. So you have to take into consideration growth even if you're going with conservative investments. So we've gone over income, death benefit, stability or safety, and growth. The last of the five needs is liquidity. Now think about those other needs that we just talked about. Income, having, meaning having money in the future. Growth, growing your money for the future. Death benefit, what if I die at some point? Safety or stability, what if the market gets volatile? What if things become uncertain? Well, liquidity is a little bit different because liquidity doesn't focus on the future. It focuses on now. And I'm a big proponent that the whole point of having money is to be able to live and enjoy it. And liquidity is a big component in that. If you can't access what you have, then you can't enjoy what you have. Now, a lot of people overestimate their liquidity, especially when it comes to qualified money. Qualified money meaning it's never been taxed before. And the reason they overestimate it is because they think that they need access to a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars in retirement all at once. When realistically, if they took one hundred or two hundred thousand dollars out of their accounts in one year, they're going to throw themselves into a 25, 30, 35, or even higher tax bracket. So while liquidity is important, 
You also want to make sure that you're not giving away too much growth for that liquidity or paying too many fees for that liquidity. So it needs to be factored in. But for retirees, you also want to make sure that you don't have too much with qualified money. If you have $200,000 in savings and that makes you feel comfortable, great. You can take all your savings out and there's no tax penalty. But in the United States, if you take out $200,000 of tax qualified money, for almost all of us, that is going to throw you into another tax bracket. So those are the five needs. Now, what I would like you to do is sit down and write out which ones are the most important to you. From one being the top number one need and priority to five being the least. Okay, so let's go over them one more time. You have income, growth, safety or stability, liquidity, and death benefit. Write those down and next to each one, write down which is the most important to which is the least important. And I promise you making financial decisions will become a lot easier for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you again for listening to Easy Money with Don Anders today. We do hope that you enjoyed the show. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website at www.andersfinancialgroup.com where you can view our financial blog, videos, and more. To stay up to date, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube by searching for Anders and Anders Financial Group. Don Anders is an investment advisor, representatives, and insurance professional. Anders and Anders Financial Group Incorporated is an independent financial services firm helping individuals create financial strategies using a variety of investment and insurance products to custom suit their needs and objectives. We are not affiliated with the U.S. government or any governmental agencies. Securities and advisory services offered through Madison Avenue Securities, LLC, member FINRA, SIPC, and a registered investment advisor. Madison Avenue Securities and Anderson Industries Financial Group are not affiliated companies.